Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, girl, you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. Best friend, Breaking Swifty news, best friend, because Reputation Taylor's version is coming today. Now, listen, if you guys didn't know, the world is preparing, girl. The Grammys, the world, there is a huge storm in Los Angeles. It, it, it's literally gray. It's literally gray. And you know what else is gray? Every single uh, profile picture of Miss Taylor Swift has changed to gray. And you know what gray means, girl? It means reputation, honey. So everybody and their mamas, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, neighbors, cousins, first crushes, first grade teacher, third grade principal, everybody is freaking out because Taylor's, uh, Taylor's definitely up to something, girl. I mean, it's definitely up to something. She is nominated, I believe, for six Grammys tonight. And um, a lot of people are saying that she's going to be announcing Reputation, Taylor's version, tonight. And if you go on her website right now, best friend, it is, it's gone. Best friend, it's happening. So we already saw that Miss Tay Tay, she changed all her profile pictures to the great it's reputation girl. Reputation Taylor's version is coming. Not only that, best friend, but she also. So Taylor actually also just changed the sky's aesthetic. It's now a beautiful reputation gray. And um, that is the aesthetic for today to match the profile pictures. Girl, I'm telling you, the power of Miss Taylor. But not only that, did you see this? Because if you go to www.taylorsweep.com, this is what you see. The website is down, best friend. I repeat, the website is down. So you know that this is some beatity bobbity boop shit because Taylor Swift's reputation, Taylor's version is coming. And girl, listen, with the sky being so great, the profile pictures, the website being down, the Grammys tonight, girl, get some snacks and some drinks because we're in a damn roller coaster and I'm loving it, bitch. I am seated in the first freaking seat in the damn roller coaster of Taylor Swift, best friend. Anyways, best friend, I'll keep you guys updated with everything, but let me tell you something. Nobody, nobody can freaking form the anticipation that this woman can, okay? Girl, does it not feel like it's New Year's and you're just waiting for like 12 o'clock to hit? Like, I feel like the damn ball, I feel like the damn ball at New York freaking Times Square ready to damn drop. The way that Taylor Swift can create all of this, girl, the bitch is a genius. The, the, the legend is a genius. So you know something is coming. I will tell you something, best friend. Reputation was, in my opinion, one of the best comebacks ever, okay? Ooh, look what you made me do. I mean, that song, the video, the, 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 the message behind it is so powerful that no one else has been able to freaking do that, okay? Nobody else, best friend. I'm telling you, that comeback... How she spent so long, how she thought that her career was actually over, how she was receiving so much backlash, and she comes back with reputation. And with look what you made me do. I mean, I'm going to tell you something, best friend. This new era is going to be fabulous, okay? So I do believe that she's going to be announcing Reputation Taylor's version tonight at the Grammys. I feel like she's going to probably win some kind of award and announce it. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of writing today because there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of categories that she's nominated for. But the one that everybody is super, like, curious about is Song of the Year. Could Taylor Swift finally win Song of the Year? Well, the predictions are in, honey. And it looks like she's going to win it with a 40% prediction. And the second one was What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. Let me tell you something, okay? Swifties are 
on it today, girl. Swifties are, they have their binoculars on, bitch. They are camping outside. I would listen. If I were nominated against Taylor Swift, girl, I'd be terrified, best friend. If I had, if if I won against Taylor Swift, girl, I would have to see with one eye open, best friend. But who do you think is going to win Song of the Year? I honestly have to say, I really am between Miss Taylor and Billy because I feel like those were the biggest two songs of the year. And obviously, Flowers by Miley. But I really am going with Auntie here on this one. But Billie Eilish is also very close. But I feel like Billie Eilish is going to win the Oscar. So the Grammys are like, okay, girl, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and, and finally give Miss Taylor Song of the Year. So I am, I'm very excited. I'm very curious to see how she's going to announce it. Let me tell you something about Taylor Swift, best friend. I mean, damn. Like, you know, it's not only what she's accomplished, but like the Easter eggs that she put puts everywhere, how she's thought about things for years, how she is just all so calculated. She's so incredibly organized. Like that mind of hers should be freaking studied because the bitch can do no wrong. I mean, I'm so serious. She cannot do no wrong. And like the way that everyone is so excited, the way that she just makes people kind of transform into, you know, this like crazy, like, you know, I mean, she she really does build so much momentum, so much excitement. I feel, you know what I feel like? I feel like in New Year's Eve, when, when, when you're waiting that excitement for 12 a.m., like 12, I feel like midnight. I feel like that is literally how she does. Like the anticipation that she creates is out of this world. And the way that she took back her career, the way that she re-recorded everything, I mean, you have to really give it up to Taylor Swift. Like the fact that Taylor Swift is probably the biggest artist in the world and continues to be so incredibly successful. And the Eras tour, I mean the Eras tour, how incredibly huge it was. Now there's a lot of people debating on whether or not she's going to win album of the year. So we have to see with that, but I really do believe that Antihero will win uh, Pops, uh, sorry, will win song of the year. But I will keep you guys updated on all of that. But I just honestly, for me, it's insane. Now there is no sign of Selena Gomez going to the Grammys. I mean, in a perfect world, Selena and Taylor would have gone together. I think it would have been such a cool girls' night because Taylor Swift can get fucking down, girl. Taylor Swift gets down. Um, I just love, honestly, like, I love, I mean, love, love seeing someone so successful because I'm like, damn, well, anything is possible in life. I mean, she has the music. She has the awards. She has the money. She has the fans. She has the boyfriend. And it doesn't matter how big she gets. Taylor Swift always manages to be so incredibly down to earth. Now, listen, I don't know her personally, of course, but what I'm saying is that you can really tell that she doesn't take herself too serious. I don't think Taylor Swift goes around thinking she's the shit. You know what? Like, I don't think she goes around, you know, being up her own ass like certain other celebrities, you know, even other celebrities who are literally not even 20% successful as Taylor Swift. But I just feel like she's still such a cool, down to earth person. I believe that is why people are so in love with her because they see somebody who is this ultra successful mega star yet so chill. You know, she doesn't allow it to get to her because I do believe that the moment you allow fame and money and popularity and all of these things get to you, I think that's when you're that's when you're done. That's when you stop being relatable and that's when people start being like, "Ugh, she's so into herself, you know. So anyways, I'm very excited for Reputation Taylor's version. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a humongous hit because, again, I mean, I remember when that song came out, the first video, Look What You Made Me Do. I mean, I was in, I was, I was, I was quiet for like a good hour, best friend. I, I was speechless, bitch. I didn't know what, I, where I was, what was happening. I was disoriented, girl. I was all over the place. But I am so here for this. So are you guys excited for this? Um, come check back on the channel. I will be definitely keeping you guys updated on everything Taylor, on everything Grammys. 
Um, I love the Grammys. I love any award show. I am a little sad that Selena Gomez is not going because I would have loved to see her. But you know what? She's done every other award. So um, anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And um, Taylor, good luck. And are you ready for reputation? Because I am, honey. I am. Yes. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Mwah. Beedee-dee-babbity-boom.